A rigid hollow sphere is immersed deep in the water and released from rest. So actually, when you put a sphere in water, something like this, it's in water, lah, it's in the fluid. So it would be heavy. Okay, you have some kind of weight, which is equal to mg. But it's also having some kind of um, upthrust force because it's in the fluid, right? So if it's balanced, uh, then this downwards force equals to the upwards force. U equals to rho vg. Sometimes you use f of u, sometimes you just write u for upthrust. Now, if the up force and down force is balanced, this object is not going to start rising up or going down, it's chilling. But here, it experiences an upthrust force which propel it towards the surface of the water. Ooh. So that tells me that this is not balanced, at least in the beginning. So actually, it looks like upthrust force is going to be much bigger. So where's the net force? Upwards, right? Okay, so this thing will start to move up with a certain velocity upwards. Yay. So which graph best shows the variation with time t of the upwards velocity? So if we look at this, or we say, miss, there is an upwards net force. Shouldn't this thing be accelerating upwards as well? Constantly? Yes, but don't choose this answer because this answer is wrong. Don't choose this um, V answer because this answer is also wrong. <laughs> yes, there's acceleration, but the acceleration is not constant. What happens is, when you are moving in a fluid, you experience a viscous force. Drag force, remember? Ah, so as you move upwards, where's my upwards? Ah, I see this velocity arrow, you're moving up. A drag force will start to appear. And this is increasing as you move faster and faster. So eventually you will reach what we call terminal velocity, but upwards. Isn't that sound familiar to our dynamics one? Okay, so weight here is going to be constant. Up thrust. Is up thrust changing? Uh? I mean, the size of your object didn't change. It doesn't matter how, where are you in the water. It's still the same size of object, so this one can be considered to be constant. We assume the density doesn't, doesn't change. Lah, okay, so constant, constant, constant. Drag force increasing. So you can say, hmm, net force decreases as you go up upwards. Why? Because drag is increasing. So that's a problem. Okay. So that means if force decrease, means acceleration decrease also. Because force and acceleration is related. Lah, okay. Net force equals to MA. If force decrease, acceleration decrease. Okay, so acceleration is, by the way, our gradient. Remember, acceleration is dv dt, which is the gradient of vt graph. So you need to look for which case you have a decreasing gradient. Okay, so c is out. A or d? Hmm, how do we know whether it's a or d? Ah? D we can cancel out for one reason. Very important reason. Released from rest. So your initial velocity should be zero. So the graph must start from zero point. Okay, that's correct for A. D, we have a problem because you see, hello, why you got initial velocity one? Cannot, cannot. What's wrong with this? So that leaves us with our best choice, A. So make sure you correct, get the correct, correct, correct uh, graph. This is terminal velocity over here. So eventually, that is where acceleration is zero. Lah. Because all the upwards force equals to all the downwards force balance already, no more movement. I mean, no more acceleration. You have a constant speed. Okay, so make sure you know how to think of uh, objects in a fluid, in water, in air, you will have up trust. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.